in honor of Valentine's Day and Heart Health Month, we thought it'd be interesting to have a little fun and see how well you know your heart. Dr. Chris McGovern, cardiac surgeon, has everything you need to know about your heart, and he's here with us now. So, a little quiz for us. Let's get right to it. Okay. Truth or false? I know the answer on this one, but I'm going to ask it anyway. The heart is a pump. True or false? True. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's unfair to call the heart just a pump. It's really okay. a super pump. Reduced to its simplest level, that's what it does, but it's amazing uh, the, the amount of work that it does. It pumps, depending on what you're doing, one to six gallons of blood every minute to every organ of your body. Over the course of a day, 2,000 gallons are pumped, and over the course of a lifetime, your heart pumps a million barrels, not gallons, a million barrels of blood, which is enough to fill two oil tanks. Wow, so it's a, that is amazing. You don't think about that. No, it's like a <laughs> pump on steroids. So a little bit more than just a pump. All right, next, true or false, men's and women's hearts are the same. False. Really? You know, I, I operate on hearts every day, and when I look at them, the appearance of them is identical. And if someone blinded me and put me in the room, I couldn't tell the difference between a male or a female heart. But there are some subtle differences. The man's heart is slightly bigger. It's on average about 10 ounces as opposed to a female heart, which okay. is about 8 ounces. And because the female heart is a little smaller, it has to compensate and beat faster. So the average heart rate for a woman is faster. It's 78 beats per minute, and for a man, it's 70. All right. Interesting. Good to know. True or false? The heart is actually red and the shape of a, of a heart, well, this, <laughs> which is this like is we a, like to think it this is. This is a common misconception, particularly this time of year. You look at all the Valentine's Day cards and you assume a heart is bright red. It really isn't. The shape of the heart is not what we expect either. It's more the shape of a clenched fist. Okay. And although your blood is red, the heart itself is darker, it's browner, and uh, it sort of has the appearance of a colonial brick house. It's not quite as red as you might expect. The other interesting thing about the heart, Dan, is that there's a lot of yellow on the surface of the heart, which is fat. I think we have a picture that, that I brought in. There's a gentleman that I operated on just last week, and you can tell the outward appearance of the heart has an awful lot of yellow Now, is this a healthy heart? That is a perfectly healthy heart. There's that's that 80, much fat that's on That's an 85-year-old wow. gentleman who weighs 140 pounds, so he's not obese. He's not, he's not heavy. Fat people, thin people, it doesn't matter. Everyone has fat on their heart. Interesting. Wow, that is really fascinating. All right. Now, here's something we always think about when we're saying the Pledge of Allegiance or singing the National Anthem. We put our hands on the left side. Is that where the heart is located, on the left side of our chest? Incorrect. Really? Everyone makes the same mistake. And if you're really trying to be authentic and proper, you should put ha your hand in the center of your chest. Okay. That's where your heart sits. When we do heart surgery, Dan, we don't, we don't go through the left side. We go right through the middle. When you do CPR, you don't press on the left side of the chest, you press right in the middle. The heart sits that makes in the center of your chest, right in between your lungs. And I've got this model just to, to, to show. But the reason people think it's really on the left side is that the heart is tilted toward the left. I see. And because it's tilted toward the left, you can feel your heart beat a little bit more on the left side, and that's where you listen with a stethoscope. All right, more power near the bottom of the heart, necessarily? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly right. All right, interesting. Well, I mean, that's a little bit bigger than what a normal size heart is, right? I mean, that's, that's not the size of a clenched fist. Th this is not. This is a much bigger heart. What it, so, is a bigger heart healthier or necessary? Great, great question, and you would think that, yes, it's an admirable quality to have a larger heart. Not necessarily. A larger heart is not necessarily a healthy heart. The heart should be less than a pound. It should be j roughly the size of your fist. If a heart is too dilated, too big, it can be weak. If a heart is too thick and too muscular, it, it may not be as efficient. You have to remember, Dan, a heart is really designed for a long distance race. Your life, it beats every day for your entire life. So it has to be prepared for that. It, doesn't want, it shouldn't be built like a, a bodybuilder. It needs to be built like a marathon runner, lean and efficient. Something, okay, something with long longevity. All right, what about when the heart is actually removed from your body? Does it continue to pump, continue yeah. to be? So that's a great question. The, there was a Raiders of the Lost Art Raiders of the Lost Ark movie a few years ago where right. the villain tore a man's heart out of his chest and the heart continued right. to beat. Now, can this happen? In theory, yes. The, the heart has its own electrical supply. It's the electricity that stimulates the heart to beat. And it's, it's a prepackaged system in the heart that, that causes it to beat. So as long as the heart is continuing to receive oxygen, even if it's removed from the body, it will continue to beat. Interesting. All right. So they had some so they had some factual accuracy then in that movie. They did. Then, but, slightly. But, but don't try that at home, right? <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> All right, nothing true or false. Can the heart actually get tired? Can it get fatigued? Yeah, that's a great question. The heart is the energizer bunny, Dan, and the heart does not fatigue, which is just amazing. The heart beats uh, roughly 100,000 times a day and close to a million times a week. Why doesn't it tire? 
It, there, there are other reasons why your heart can weaken, but your heart is not going to quit and give up. It's because the heart is made from a different type of muscle. It's a very different muscle than you have in your arms and in your legs. These are, this is what we call skeletal muscle. Your cardiac muscle is built a different way, and it doesn't tire. Fascinating. All right, and you've got more information. You're blogging for us on ABCnews.com. More information right. about the heart that we all need to know to stay healthy and happy, especially around Valentine's Day when those hearts can break. That's right. All right, Dr. McGovern, thank you so much. Great to be here.